Hello everybody, Tracy Hackler here for another scintillating edition of Panini Unwrapped. Joined today by Carlos Torres, NFL brand manager for all of our fine line of football products here at Panini America. Carlos, thanks for joining us. No problem, Tracy. We have uh, your newest creation here, 2011 Panini Threads Football, a, a perennial favorite among football collectors. It kind of signals that we're one step closer to the start of the, the regular season. Yep. It's a uh, football card season is in full swing now. This is, this is our fourth product? It's our fourth product. Prestige, Elite. Rookies and Stars and Threads. I can't open it, Carlos. I'm struggling right now. So, uh, how about this weather, huh? It's tough, there we go. It's been uh, quite warm. Quite warm. What's hotter, Carlos? The weather outside? Or our football products. Of course, our products. There we go. Of course, our products. All right, so so uh, penny threads, Carlos. Talk about uh, kind of the the heritage of this brand and, and what you're excited about most in 2011. In 2011, what I love most of all is the base card design. Yep. It's horizontal this year. Gives you more of a more action photo. I believe our designer director Brandon Leslie came uh -huh. up this design. Yep. We absolutely love it. We're very, very proud of it. It really kind of accentuates the the action of the game itself. Yes. I mean, that, there, there's a lot in the landscape of a of any given football photo that sometimes will get lost on a on a vertical design, but but on the horizontal design, it you you really get to see a bunch of different stuff. And uh, kudos. To those guys. It gives you more of the wide angle of the field and what I like about it is you get more action in the background other than a player being just isolated in the middle of the card. Mm -hmm. Gives you more action in the back. Love it. Now another thing I love because I know kind of the backstory behind this and you can tell our guys and gals watching at home but the star factor design is a pretty unique design and, and there's a reason for that in there Carlos. Yes uh, we, a while back we got a jersey from auction of Ernie Davis which was worn in the all-star game college all-star game and it had the stars on the shoulders mm -hmm. and we've actually scanned that jersey and incorporated it into that design which uh, I believe John Mata did a tremendous job with. Yeah, it was another one of our talented designers and here's another insert I like. It's a simple theme, it's a simple insert but it, it really speaks volumes about the players on it and the team on it, this generations. Yes, that's one we've done for a few years, it kind of ties two players, either from the same team or for the same position, mm -hmm. together. And uh, this one here is Joe Perry with uh, Frank Gore, which is, you know, of the same team, of course. Absolutely. 49ers greats. Now, on average, each box will deliver what, Carlos? Four autograph for men. One autograph for sure, one prime jersey, and two other cards. Okay. Two other memorabilia cards. Very nice. One prime jersey per box. Per box. That's pretty cool. That's, uh, I know in some of the QC processes, there were some really cool uh, premium swatches. Uh, yes. Here's, here's another something that we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about. Gridiron Kings. Yes. Venerable favorite among all, all sports card collectors. And it's back. Yeah, this is a take on, uh, kind of take off the base with the canvas kind of kind of painting type look. Yep. Uh, this one was done by Brandon Leslie again. It's I think it's tremendous the way it looks. It uh, incorporates the kind of a team crest there on the left, along with a kind of a painted portrait type image on the card. It's one of my favorites. Yep. Now I just pulled a, a memorabilia card here of two rookies, one of which. I'm very fond of. Actually, both these guys I really like. We had the chance to meet Von Miller and Marcel Darius at the rookie premiere, and those dudes are awesome. Both those guys are tremendous players, and they're very, very professional. Yep, and it's cool that, that the number two and number three overall picks are on the same card. That's, that's pretty cool. Again, rookie class makes, make, makes its uh, way in threads again. It's uh, the manufactured letters signed by the players. This is uh, Mikel Shore, mm -hmm. who is now out for the season, unfortunately. He had, uh, I believe, uh, ACL injury. Yep. But uh, still a great guy. A couple of cards here I want to show. This is the, 
the uh, tight end from the Broncos, Julius Thomas, who's who's trying to become kind of the next Antonio Gates, guy who played college basketball at Portland State. And uh, all the tools are there for sure for him. Rave I mean. reviews from camp so far. Real big dude, and then a parallel of a guy who loves him some him, Terrell Owens, numbered out of a hundred. He's still looking for a home right now with the team, but uh, I. I bet by week four he's on a, he's on a squad somewhere contributing. Yeah. Now the the parallels in here, Carlos, are there different levels of the parallels? Yes, I believe there's uh, gold, silver, and platinum. I believe. Here's an, here's an autograph of the I think number nine pick overall, which is uh, Tyron Smith from USC. Nice. Dallas Cowboy. The local guy now. Yep. You mentioned the gold, silver, platinum, I think. I believe I, so. The TO was a gold out of 100, and I just pulled a CJ Spiller silver out of 250. So back-to-back -back packs. Nice shimmering parallels. They're fun. You definitely get tons of inserts in here and a variety of inserts, and you definitely get the value. Absolutely. Another star factor. I could look at that design all day long. Austin. Here's another one of those horizontal shots that's just cool. If you just look in the background of this Davy Johnson card, you see him being chased and pursued, and you see all the fans. It's he had a great breakout year last year. Oh, he did. He's a Twitter guy too. He's. Uh, I wish I knew what his handle was at this point, but I don't. Here's another one of our inserts called Triple Threat. This is uh, three of the Green Bay Packers: Greg Jennings, Donald Driver, and of course. Aaron Rodgers. Of course. Super Bowl 45 MVP. Yes. Which was a great game, by the way. Absolutely. I think I sat next to you at that game. Yeah, we did. Right below Christian Slater. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Here's a, a Heritage Collection card of the the legendary Newt Rockman. We actually have uh, a sideline worn jacket of Newt Rockman that's in the program. So uh, you can find pieces of him in, in the program. That's and speaking of Newt Rockne, we have him coming up in our last release of the year of National Treasures with, uh, I'll leave it with that. It's what, a surprise. What, what is, wow, here's a, a rookie collection, Jake Locker. Another nice design, nice photo. You know, we see football players, most of the time we see them on the field with their helmets on. Mm -hmm. And what the NFL Players Rookie Premier allows us to do is get these guys and kind of show some of their personality with no helmets. and. It's a nice departure from what we normally see. It gets the collector closer with the player because you've seen them with their helmet on, like you're saying, right. helmet on. And Ooh. if you see half these guys walking on the street, you don't know who they are because they're not wearing their helmets or their jerseys. Right. But this insert here allows us to feature the player without the helmet and uh, kind of showcase the player. Cedric Benson, this is the prime memorabilia card that you referenced. And it's part of the uh, laundry tag. Laundry tag. And it's out of 99. That's that's a cool hit for a card number to 99 because typically swatches like that are are one of ones, one of tens, one of fifteens, or whatever. But that's we always try to mix in some some, some unique swatches like that that's in, cool. some, in, in the prime version to kind of get the, the collector something different other than you know jersey number, nameplate, patch, or something like that. Well, something I different. I think. Uh, we're going to have to give some of these cards away to the viewers out there. And we also, we have a guy named Matt Lang who's a who's a, a freelance designer. And we had, I went to him and said, we need a cool shirt. So he made us a logo that's on this shirt, that's on this shirt. And we're going to give this shirt away too as part of our prize pool. Very nice. So all the hits, the shirt, you want a chance to win them? Just leave your comments on the break on the product, what you think about 2011 Panini Threads, and we're going to award some stuff to you. So, Carlos, thanks for coming on, brother. No problem, Tracy. Thank you guys for watching. Now, as always, I say it every time, we love you.